Good afternoon. Today is Friday. No, wait a minute. The day before Friday. Today is Thursday. Okay. We start today with a presentation, quickly presentation before we do the activity or workbook. Okay. Pay attention to this presentation. Sometimes people get confused on used to, be used to, and get used to. Today, we probably, yes, finally, we get it done and covered after this presentation. All right. <clears throat> We're going to start now with, in this case, used to or didn't used to. All right. What happens with this topic? When we refer to the past, something that we don't do anymore in present time. Situations or states which have changed. Used to um, doesn't exist in the present, of course. But if you want to have uh, an alternative, well, what better alternative than an adverb of frequency, such as usually or often. For example, if I talk about the past, I used to play basketball with my friends. And now my new routine. Well, I usually play basketball by myself early in the morning. Remember, used to refers to an action from the past. The action that you refer to is called base form verb or infinitive. You, you want to call it that way because of the two. I used to sleep for eight hours every night before quarantine, but now I only sleep six. Netflix is guilty. Okay, now uh, next one. I didn't recognize him or my friend. Well, because now after I see him without the mask, he didn't used to have a beard, right? So we talk about past things that they are not or they do not continue in the present. Teacher, but I had also um, another class with this about used to, in which my teacher explained us that another use is the verb would. Yes, and that is true. We can say, would only when we talk about active verbs. Never use would with non-active or static verbs. For example, verb to be, verb have, verb known, verb like, hate, love, no, etc. For example, this, no? When I lived in France in the past, as a child, we used to have croissants for breakfast. Okay. But I cannot say I would have because if I say I would have, it talks about something that is a uh, supposition. You know, I am guessing. I am giving something that is not true. Alrighty, now let's cover. Topic number three is be used to versus get used to plus gerund. What's happening here? Well, they both are similar. Yes, especially in the structure. Be used to plus gerund and get used to plus gerund. All right. But what's happening here, there's a big difference, eh? Take a look. If we focus on be used to plus gerund, we say that be used to gerund to talk about a new, sorry, and we talk about, an, well, hold on, one second. I am accepting a person here, but I'm having problems with this, so I'm going to close it. All right, sorry, um, okay, back to the presentation. When we talk about be used to and get used to, people get confused because the ending part of gerund and they want to make a difference. Do not make the difference. It's only slightly, but we will see it too. So, use be, be used to with gerund to talk about a new situation which is now familiar or is strange. We talk, uh, we talk about a situation that is now. This is the key word. Now, at this moment, is part of you. It's not in the process. I'm not used to sleeping with a dovet, or I've always slept with blankets. I'm not used to taking online classes, but because of the quarantine, I am forced to. Carlos has lived in London for years, so it means that after being in Peru, now he's in London. Well, he's used to driving on the left. This is something that is part of his life now. It was not part of it, but now it took time and it is. What is the difference with get used to? Get used to is when you talk about a new situation which is becoming familiar. Let's use a word that can be very simple, in progress, okay? You just get used to because you talk about the progress of becoming familiar, becoming a new routine. Take a look at this dialogue. A says, 
I can't get used to working at night. I feel tired all the time. I need to sleep. And B responds, don't worry. You'll soon get used to it. This is not part of you, but soon enough, we'll get used to it or this will be part of you. So it's the process. The difference between be used to and get used to is exactly the same as the difference between verb to be and verb get with the use of an adjective to describe. Take a look at here. Put yourself at night time, um, 9 p.m. for example. You see it, it's, not, it's dark, so you say, it's dark now, it is dark. But around 5.45, almost 6 p.m., it gets dark. The time is changing, it's into transition to become dark. Make sense? So that's the reason because we use the difference in be used to and get used to. Both of them finish in gerund or ing. But the idea is when you say be used to doing, it means this process is already there. It's part of you. When you say get um, used to uh, or you get used to this, it means that it's part. this part is not for you now, but it's familiar, it's getting there, it's in the process. All right. So I hope that this was understood. And now we can continue with our regular program. What is it for today? Okay, guys, for today, unit four, think outside the box, grammar. Page 36, okay, page 36. Grammar section, be used to doing, or get used to doing, we know already. Be used to doing is something that is now for you, and get used to doing is something that is in the process. To be part of you in the process and finally used to do something from the past okay for exercise one we will have the help from alessandra franco alessandra uh, good, good afternoon. afternoon good afternoon please help me out in here for exercise number one let's see if you can get the differences after this presentation what would be the the case for number one uh b uh-huh. Can you read the sentence, please? Uh, the fast food place used to be my favorite French restaurant. To drive it from the right side. And in, in England, it's from the left side. So driving is good. All right. Thank you so much, Alessandra. And goodbye. Let's check the chat. I have four messages. Okay, good, good, good. Freswi, you're paying attention. All right. Uh, actually, number one should be corrected, but yeah. But you have the answers now. Please, guys, let's remember. When you say, I am used to dancing, it means that I am an expert now, for example. Yeah, it's part of me. If I say, I get used to dancing, it means that I am in the process of becoming an expert. Yeah, it's not there, it's in transition. Let's give it a try. Well done. Good. We have to circle the correct options. Here we mark them, all right? You tell me and I'll do. Please, this exercise is about circle the correct options. So we have two options to choose from. I will I will read and you tell me, okay? And I'll mark for you. Okay. Let's go. When I was young, I used to, or I got used to play outside with my friends. Here's the I used to. The... Yes, yes, yes. Good job, Enrique. Because the magic happens here. You have the base verb, base form verb, that tells you that this is part of the past. Wonderful. Let's continue. I used to play outside with my friends. My mom used to, or was used to me, going out to ride my bike with them. Which one do we use? Used to? Or the was second to? one? The second one, yeah, yeah. She was used to, this was part of her. Maybe my father said, hey woman, where's the kid? Don't worry, he's outside, he will come back because it's, this is part of her. And she's now, or she was used to you going out with your friends. Let's continue. But the idea is simple. When you say that you are used to doing something, it's because this is part of you. Estás acostumbrado. When you say that I get used to doing this thing, it means that you are in a process Oh, it was a little difficult and it's, it took process for you to do it. Okay. Oops. Let me clean this up. Hold on. And now we move on. Exercise number three. Complete the sentences with the correct forms of verb to be or verb get. 
So what is the situation with number three? Well, same thing as in the Prezi. The difference between verb to be and verb get, when we use them for used to, is exactly the same as the difference between a verb to be and get for an adjective. Take a look. I can say, it is dark versus it gets dark. If I say it gets dark, it means that it becomes dark. It's in progress, it's a process. Exercise three. Read and complete. Use the correct forms of verb to be and verb get. All right. Let's listen to... Okay, Marcelo, we hear you. Help us with number one. What do you say? Um, okay, um, Julia is Mexican, so she's used to hot weather. Yes, very good. Or is used to spicy food or jalapenos. Good. Okay, number two. Okay. Um, my uncle's working in Berlin, so he had to get used to different food. Wonderful. New because earthquakes is old. It's an old uh, disaster. It, unfortunately, it happens there lots of times. So this is in their, you know, ratio. So it's are used to experiencing earthquakes. They happen quite often. Alrighty, good job. Number nine, please. On holiday, I went to the beach every day. That's something I could easily get used to. Yes, you can get used to it. You can have the process and then acquire it. Marcelo, I am very happy because you have been proven, you have been proven that everything is wonderful. All the answers are correct. Thank you and goodbye. We are going very fast. All right. Take a look at this picture. We, we make some time with this. Let's try to talk about assumptions. Let's give some assumptions about this guy and probably something bad happened to him and something that you could suggest that he could have done or in order to avoid it or maybe he has to get familiar or get used to this. All right, let's hear from Juan Carlos Pavic. Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay, Juan Carlos, what can you tell me about this picture? Um, well, I can see a kid with his bike and he is covered by mud. It's very dirty. Um, I think he was riding his bicycle and then he fell off and covered up with dirt. He could try uh, wait, wake up early and go for, for another road. Oh, yes, yes. Or maybe he could walk instead of uh, riding the bicycle, huh? probably, and take so much time. Okay, would you get used to waking up early to go to school, if, it's, if it would be the case, and if you had to ride the bicycle? Uh, yes, I, I wouldn't mind uh, waking up early, though. I usually do. All right, if, so yeah. the case. if it's the case, of course. So you, you, you could get used to it easily. Let's imagine this. You live in Chaclacayo but you move abroad okay now you live in sweden and it's winter time what what would you say about the weather the weather change from from hot to cold uh no no for me it would be impossible i could not get used to because i love the, the warm okay you cannot get used to cold weather then yeah. Check the guy is nice. Sometimes it's cold though, but yeah, it is nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good use of good use to in the picture. All right. Let's hear Andres Donaide. Yes. This is the biggest challenge of the day. All right. Here's what you have to do, Andres. You must tell the class and even myself true things about you following these prompts. Okay. Complete these statements with something that is true for you. With used to, get used to, be used to, be used to in the past, and finally, uh, get used to. Okay, we hear you with number one. Uh, okay. Uh, when I was young, I used to play, uh, I don't know, with my toys. <laughs> okay, with number two. Uh, okay, uh, when I started school, it wasn't easy to get used to what happens when you have the instructor get used to 
what happens is that people say, ah, it's two. We need to use base form again, like you play. But no, no, no. Hold on. We can't. We must use gerund. So this should be changing to ing. Uh, to spending a lot of hours. Yes, exactly. That's the rule. After get used to or be used to, everything is in ing. Now, get used to also means that it's a process and something that becomes familiar to you. All right. Thank you. Let's do number three. Uh, okay. Now I'm used to uh, getting up early. Yes, exactly. Like that, for example. What's the pitching? All righty. Let's do the last one. Number five. How about number five? My parents have never got used to, I don't know, to love my dog. <laughs> ah, for example, to loving your dog. But wait a minute. How about if you talk about something that is more... Uh, ah, to love my dog. To love it. To love it. It's with, with ING. ING. Yes, with ING. Should be loving you. Got used to loving your dog. No, no he works a lot. Yes, he does, man. <laughs> But it's fine. Don't worry about it. I have also dogs and they do bark. And we also have other noise. Uh, we have brothers and sisters. They scream. We have parents that they watch TV. Other parents that scream. Other brothers and sisters that scream. They make joke for us because we have class. It's understandable. Thank you so much. That was really good. Thank you. I think we can leave it from there. We continue tomorrow. Thank you, Paula. And bye, everybody. Have a good afternoon. Bye. 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 bye goodbye. Okay.